hello everybody. Well, you should all know how this goes by now, but I'm your host, Mr. B, and this is another episode of our Bears News Network. Now, remember, we have parent-teacher conferences this week, so there is no school on Thursday or Friday. And today we have a great show for you. We have some ASL signs of the week, a teacher spotlight, and lots of students showing off their pets. So let's start with some of our pet videos first. First up, we have Mackenzie and her puppy, and then we have Emma and Ruby. Let's see your furry family members. My name is Mackenzie. I'm in Miss Ross class. I'm going to show you my puppy. This is Mason. He likes kisses. Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm in Miss Ross class. This is my dog, Ruby. She's and she loves to go on walks and car rides. <laughs> <laughs> and we're really good at tricks, toss it, and other cool tricks. I'm gonna make her catch in the tree. I love being able to see everyone's pets, and these are all so great. You are all so lucky to be able to have pets at home. Whoa. It looks like someone's trying to take over the show. Hi, my name is Molly Keller. I'm in second grade Miss Fiore's class, and today I am filming a joke for BNM. Hmm, how'd you do that? Well, I guess Molly would like to tell us a joke of the day. So, hey Molly, you ready for us? What, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Hmm, I guess we'll have to find out the answer after our ASL sign of the week. Remember, don't say anything if you think you know the answer. Well, let's try and practice our signing with Mrs. Jerulis. Take it away. about you but I am always losing track of time so I'm gonna teach you how to sign what time is it yeah two simple signs ready let's get your pointer finger up on this side and your hand on this side like a wall and you're gonna say what and then you're gonna point to your invisible watch time is it Let's do it again. What time is it? And with the question, raise your eyebrows like you're inquisitive about it, like you're asking a question. Have a good day. Thanks so much. I know that teachers get asked all the time about, well, what time it is. Now we can try and ask in sign language. Maybe the teachers will even answer back in sign language. That's an idea. Remember, keep practicing your signs. Well, let's turn back to Molly and see what the answer to her joke is. It was, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? All right, Molly, what's the answer? Supplies! Oh, I get it, supplies! <laughs> You know, I bet Mr. Howard would do this to us if he ever heard this joke. Don't tell him. All right, I think it's time to see another pet video, don't you? And with this pet, we also get to see some family gymnastics. So let's go to Maeve and Nolan, who are out in the field, to see what they have for us.
so she tore her ACL and her ear had to get um drained. Yeah, drained. Drained. And they both needed to get stitches. And she's a little hyper right now. Alright, say thank you. Thank you. You both look like you're having so much fun. I hope the weather stays this nice so that you can play outside for a long time. Now, since we have seen so many of your pets, I think it might be time to see one of our teacher's pets. Mrs. McCluskey is our teacher spotlight of this week, so let's see what kind of pet her family has at home. Does anyone have a guess at what it might be? I don't think you're going to be able to figure it out. Boys and girls, my name is Mrs. McCluskey and I am a kindergarten teacher at Oakwood School. Today, something that I thought you might like to see on the BNN News is my son's pet bearded dragon. His name is Flame. So today, I'm going to show you my son and his pet bearded dragon and we're going to show you his cage and how we feed him. At the end, we'll also give you a few tips on how to take care of a bearded dragon in case you ever want to get one for your own pet. Here is my son Riker holding his pet bearded dragon Flame. Flame is very easy to hold. He likes it when you walk around with him on your shoulder. But now Riker is going to put Flame back into his cage. And as he's putting him into his cage, I'll explain to you about his cage. He has two climbing things in his cage. One is like a cave and he loves to go inside of that. Another one looks like a tree stump and he usually climbs to the top of that during the daytime as well. There's a little dish, you'll see how we use that for food. And then there's a heat lamp at the top. That's so that he can stay warm because they need to stay warm. As you can see on him, he's shedding some of his skin. So his tail still needs to shed. That's why it looks like it's a little bit of a different color. Okay, first Riker is going to feed him three live roaches. Bearded dragons need to eat some protein when they're young and growing in order to get bigger. And that was Flame rushing after that, be that roach to get it. He's very excited for those. There's another one. Now he's gonna give him some dried mealworms. And inside of there, there are also some dried um, crickets that he likes to eat sometimes. And after he's finished feeding him some of those, I think that's enough. Riker will show you how we give him his own salad. His salad consists of kale leaves, and then we always throw in some kind of a treat because they need some fruit and vegetables as well. So we give him some kale leaves, and today he's going to get some blueberries. Blueberries are one of his favorites. When you see that blueberry, he'll attack it. There he is eating some of his kale. He loves his salads. There he is. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed seeing Flame and how we feed him and his treats. I'm going to list a few more tips for having a bearded dragon as a pet in case you ever want one. Bye, Flame. Hello, boys and girls. Here are a few bearded dragon facts that I thought you might find interesting. 
habitat. That is a place where your bearded dragon would live. If you are going to make one for your pet bearded dragon, number one, you need to choose the right size tank for the bearded dragon. Number two, you need to make sure that you have a shallow water dish and food dish. Number three, you need a light for heat. And number four, a rock den is good for your dragon when he needs to get out of the light. When you feed your dragon, you need to give them a varied diet. They can eat things like crickets, worms, greens, like collard greens and kale. They can eat squash, sweet potato, and fruit as a treat. When you want to pick up your bearded dragon, there's a certain way for holding him. You should always wash your hands first and approach him slowly. When you're holding him, you can gently pet him. And when you scoop him up, do it with the palm of your hand. That way he won't get frightened. If you'd like more fun facts about bearded dragons, I've attached a YouTube link Feel free to watch this fun video. Wow, who would have thought that it would be a dragon? Uh, well, a bearded dragon, that is. Eh, either way, that is so cool. Do any of you have any unusual pets at home? We would love to see them on an episode of BNN. Well, we're almost out of time, but we can't forget our birthdays for the week, right? This is your birthday song, it isn't very long. Hey, so it's your birthday, so it's your birthday. Happy birthday to our guests. So it's your birthday, so it's your birthday. Oakwood wishes you the best. Hey, hey. That's all the time we have for today. We only have one more episode left until Thanksgiving break. So keep sending in your videos and signing up to be on our show. I'll see you in a different video for Veterans Day this Wednesday and on our next episode of BNN. Have a very good week.